This tutorial will teach you how to install and commission the PAC50. To install the PAC50 on a mounting rail, insert the device from underneath, push it up and lock it in place on the upper edge of the mounting rail. Depending on the variant, the PAC50 will either have pressure connections with G1 quarter threads on the bottom and the back or a push-in fitting for pneumatic hoses on the bottom. In this tutorial, we will use a PAC50 with a connection for pneumatic hoses. The hose is inserted into the push-in fitting up to the stop. Check that the inserted hose is positioned correctly before applying pressure to the sensor. Connect the PAC50 to the power supply using a round connector. Ensure that it has the correct pin assignment, which differs depending on the available signal outputs. Ensure that the union nut is correctly closed in order to guarantee water resistance in accordance with IP65 and IP67. Switch on the power supply. The PAC50 is now ready for use. Holding down the left-hand push button for a while brings up the info mode. The display will now show important device settings one after another, such as the set switching points. Subsequently, the pressure switch returns to the display mode. Holding down the right-hand push button for a while brings up the programming mode. In programming mode, use the left hand and right hand push buttons to navigate to the switching points and reset points. Other adjustments can be found in the second menu level under EF, Extended Functions. In order to select a menu point or to confirm a set value, press the middle push button. In the following example, we will set switching point 1. Hold down the right-hand push button for a while to bring up the programming mode. Confirm the SP1 selection with the middle push button. Press the left-hand push button in order to increase the value of switching point 1 and the right-hand push button to reduce it. When the value has been set, confirm it by pressing the middle push button. In order to exit the programming mode, navigate downwards in the menu, past menu point EF. The new switching point 1 is now set, and the PAC50 is back in operating mode. In addition to the pressure applied, the set switching points are shown in the display. We will now increase the applied pressure. If the thresholds previously set for the switching points are exceeded, the color of the pressure display and display of the respective switching point will change from green to red. The light spots display the amended status of the switching outputs. As such, you can tell if the pressure is within the target range, even from a considerable distance. Use the extended functions in the programming mode to set whether the display changes from green to red or from red to green. As with all measuring instruments, you may find that the PAC50 displays a minor zero offset. To correct this, hold down the right-hand push button for a while to bring up the programming mode. Navigate to Extended Functions and choose Menu Point Zero Set. Execute the zero calibration by selecting Yes. Exit the programming mode via the menu point END. Alternatively, hold down the right hand and left hand push buttons to exit the programming mode. These are the basic operating functions of the PAC50. For more information, please visit www.sic.com/pac50.